I wanted to ask you, Amanda, uh, Stuart and yourself, you mentioned thermoneutral zones in carbs and, and there being a, an additional requirement on the carbs in terms of energy when temperatures consistently drop below 15 degrees. You evidently see a benefit in using calf jackets. Uh, do you feed additional milk replacer? And if you do or don't, what are your reasons to either feeding more or less? Yeah, okay, that's a good question. Um, no, so we don't feed any more um, milk powder because uh, generally where we are, it might be cold tomorrow, but it could be mild again the next day. So I find um, switching them about, it's just, it's not consistent. And um, so we tend to just work with the jackets and a good bit of straw. And if it gets very cold, go with the heat lamps then. We, we don't mess with the nutrition. What do you believe is the most important aspect for successful calf rearing in regards to your specialism? Um, colostrum management is the most important thing, but if you get that right and you can put them into a good environment, then you're halfway there. Um, barley and, and wheat harvest, they've been poor this season, limiting the supply and quality of straw as a byproduct. There is obviously a need for straw or hay as a material, but on the subject of bedding, if there was a choice of other bedding materials, which in your opinion would be the be next best thing to bed calves? Well, straw is the best uh, one because it's the best insulator by a long way. But I have seen calves bedded up on sawdust and on paper. But I would say if you're using them, don't stint just because they're really expensive. Make sure you bed up well. In terms of efficacy of different disinfectants, we have an attendant asking if parasitic acid and lime is suitable as a disinfectant for calf housing. And what are the pros and cons to these? Um, lime and uh, most bedding condition, conditioners are great at, at absorbing any moisture, really great for that. Uh, debatable on um, how effective they are as a disinfectant. There's no defer approval for lime or, or bedding conditioners. Um, the paracetic acid, you can get defer approved paracetic acid. Um, paracetic acid is a great disinfectant if you're using your PPE correctly and wearing goggles and gloves, etc. And really good in the final rinse when you're cleaning utensils, etc. Because it's not that great if it's uh, used where there's an awful lot of um, biofilm in place. So if the surface is clean and you've used your detergent properly, then paracetic acid is great, no problem. Excellent. Thank you.